Hey Techno Studs, if we're gonna have a layer three switch, we still want that layer three switch to be connected to the rest of the world. And it's probably gonna go through some sort of gateway to do that. In our network that we have set up, it's a router. But how do we connect a layer three switch to the rest of the world through a router? Well, that's what this video is going to cover. There's actually a couple different ways to do that, but specifically we're going to, in this video, talk about routed ports, setting up a routed port on a switch, and then connecting it and configuring the router. So the configuration that I have is I'm on this demo laptop right here, and I want this layer to configure this layer three switch to connect into the router. And we're going to do this through a routed port on this switch right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is configure the router, and then we're gonna get into the routed port on this switch. All right, I'm gonna move this diagram off to the side there. And I've got all of my devices that are up on here, although for this particular one, we're just gonna be working with switch one and router one. I'm consoled into the router with a cable right now, and I'm doing that because I don't have any kind of connectivity to it right now other than just the, the physical cable connected into it. So uh, what we're gonna do is I'm going to, first of all, configure this router one. So what we'll do is I'm just gonna do a show run and we'll take a look to see what the configuration is on it currently. And I see the, here's the fast ethernet. It's set up with an old IP address from one of the old demos. We wanna change that. So um, I'm going to show run interface FA01. That way we've got it up right here. And then I'm going to get into the global configuration mode and interface FA01. And then I want to change this IP address. So I'll just highlight that and copy it. And we want this to be in our new VLAN, the IP address for our new VLAN which I happen to have recorded right over here, R1 right here. So 10.24.0.2 is the IP address that we want. So 10.240.0.2, and it's a slash 30. So I'm gonna put .252 at the end here. And so really we only need two IP addresses for this, one for the router and one for the switch. So I'm going to enter in that IP address right there and it's gonna change. And uh, there, that's the end of our router configuration. So that's all we really need to do on that side of it. So now let's jump over to the switch and configure the switch. All right, so I'm jumping on this switch here and I'm going to do a show run interface. And we're looking at FA1047 is the one that that router is plugged into. So it's set up as a trunk line. So the first thing that we need to do is remove some of that, some of that configuration. So I am going to uh, get into the global configuration mode and get into interface FA1047. And then I'm going to do no on the switch port VLAN two. And I'm gonna also do a no on the switch port trunk. When I highlight the whole line, it, uh, it highlights the carriage return. And so it automatically answers it in when I do that. Okay, and then the other command I'm going to enter on to here, which is our new command, is no switch port. So what that does is it turns off the switching capability and now we can sign an IP address to it. So I'm going to assign the IP address and it is 10.240.0. Dot one, and that'll be a 255.255.255.252, and we'll enter that in. All right, so now that's entered in to, to this. And so now we have a connectivity between two routed ports, and we should be able to ping between those. So I think the next thing we'll do is we will try pinging them and see how successful we are. So what I'll do is I'm just going to end out of here. I'm going to ping, let's ping 
10.240.0.2 and see if we've got connectivity to it. And there you have it. We got connectivity to that. And so I am now able to ping that. So the other thing that I want to do is I'm going to test that out. And so I'm going to bring up a command prompt and I'm going to ping 10.240.0.1, which is the switch side of this. And I have access to that. So that's great. And then I'm going to ping the other side of that 10.240.0.2 and see if I have access to that. And it doesn't look like I have access. And this is actually to be expected. And let's analyze why it's to be expected. Uh, so I, it, everything is functioning cor correctly, except for the router doesn't know how to get back to this network. So we're not going to cover that in this module. We're gonna cover that in a future module. But what's happening is this demo laptop realizes it's trying to ping 10.240.0.2 and realizes it's somewhere outside of its own network. So it needs to reach its default gateway. So it sends the frame to the default gateway, which is this layer three switch. The layer three switch knows where, it, where to go. It's a directly connected network. And so it sends it to the router and then it reaches the router. But the problem is, is the router is not aware of all of the networks down here. So we need to establish like a static route or we need to establish some sort of routing protocol. We need something for it to communicate back. So that's not going to happen yet. And that will be a future class that we actually get into describing how to do that. But for the purpose of this, oh, and in fact, actually, what we can do is we can actually jump on, let's jump onto this switch and just do an IP route. We need to show in front of it, show IP route. And we can see that it sees all of the networks that we're concerned about right here. So that all makes sense. And then we do a show IP route on the router. And we can see that it really only knows of the directly connected networks to it. It's not aware of the 10 dot, uh, 10 dot, uh, 1 dot 10 zero, uh, zero network or any of the other VLANs. It's just not aware of those. So uh, once again, we'll, we'll tackle that one in a future video in a future module. But for now, just know that this is one of the ways where we set up a routed port on our layer three switch, and then we set up uh, the router just as a standard routing port, and then we have communication between these devices.